What are some things that you can do to help you naturally cope with hot flashes? That yeah. sort of thing has been, it's just like bang, bang, bang. I think it's because of my age that it's like, and I, I deal with it too, so that's interesting. Yeah, so hot flashes are caused by estrogen deficiency. So as we get closer to menopause, which the clinical definition, no periods for 12 months. Okay. But in this perimenopausal transition, as we're getting closer and closer to menopause, women can still start to experience them because one month the estrogen's low, then it's high, then it's low, then it's high. So you might notice one month your hot flashes are less and then the next month they're higher. Yes. So what you want to do, testing is hard in this period because it's like going up and down and up and down. So you want to talk to your doctor about treatment for your hot flashes. Mm -hmm. We do have treatments. Now I find though that lifestyle plays a huge role in how symptomatic people are okay. with their hot flashes. And so controlling the controllables, how you eat, how you move, how you sleep, how much stress, how much caffeine are you using, all of these things affect, have a downstream effect on your hormones. And so maximize those things first. If you're still suffering, we have treatment for it. Mm -hmm. And then once you make the transition into menopause, I'm a huge fan of hormone replacement therapy. It's not a drug. It's not like a blood pressure med or a statin. Um, estrogen replacement after menopause can decrease your risk of dementia, osteoporosis, heart disease, but it's not good at reversal. So don't wait 10 years and then to say, do it. Yeah. gosh, I'd like to consider I estrogen really need now. to do something. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So like we said, they're finishing up right now. I hear the applause on the television up there. The music is coming on. So we're gonna grab Dr. Seaman and let Rachel give her a quick interview because she's got big questions about hormones and she stuff. She is amazing and the speech I mean, she gave to, oh, I do. I have some hormone questions. And then the speech that she gave today. Shocking statistics. Really, really challenged us as parents. And, and I mean, it was just incredible. So if you guys are, if you must be living under a rock and you don't know, Dr. Seaman, but like Dr. Fit and Fabulous. What an amazing summit that you have put together. We absolutely love coming to this conference. We've been to lots of different things, but there's such an intimate feel to it. And you help to just curate all of these amazing leaders, give so many different perspectives. It's so nice. What, what was your thought process in putting all this all together? When we want, you know, when we kind of like thought about this idea, you know, we thought real small. We want it to be intimate. We want the human connection. We just want people to feel this feeling like the keto diet. It's not about a diet at all. Yeah. When you hear people's stories, it like transcends their entire life. It and that was does. what happened for me. Fixed my diet, but then all of a sudden, you know, I was a better mom and a better doctor. And so that was what we wanted and it's grown and grown and grown and it's really fun to bring all these people like-minded people into one building with a common purpose about just being better humans yeah and oh, this was i wasn't here last, last year. year you weren't here we here. missed you it, we you, got to hang out well, with your husband it was amazing last year truly. and i heard it was amazing last year but it just it felt good to be here and to connect with people and you know, my job as part of Keto Summit, there is an entire staff of people that made this happen, the logistics, all of that. I I just showed up and I got, you know, these amazing speakers here and I just thank every single person that was involved and who came and who bought a ticket and who sat in these seats and listened to these messages because that's what we're here for. It was, it was truly amazing and this was really an atmosphere where if you had a, a personal question that you wanted to ask doc, you know, Dr. Silas or, or Dr. Barry or you wanted to talk to Ask Nurse Cindy, like they were there and available in close proximity and that just made it really, really special. Now, your personal talk was so eye-opening. Let me tell you, everybody had the Can we talk about the out. kids statistic for COVID? Oh my gracious. So could you share that staggering, really eye-opening statistic about kids and, and pre-diabetes and, and in this last year? Yeah, so we've seen you know, globally that the rate of insulin resistance, pre-diabetes and diabetes is increasing among children. It, it correlates exactly with the obesity trend, with our poor diets. 
but during 2020, during the COVID-19 pandemic, we saw a 182% increase in type 2 diabetes diagnosis among children. Oh my so goodness. that just tells you right there, as we isolate, as we become more sedentary, we lock ourselves in during a pandemic, yeah. we start eating poorly, the emotional effects of a pandemic and the stresses, mm -hmm have an effect on our children. Um, they're watching what's going on in the world and that's a super scary statistic and unfortunately it is on the shoulders of every parent and every adult out there. I was it gonna is. say, I like you the comment us. you made about they didn't go to the grocery store. Yeah, our kids, I mean, unless they're 16 years old or have a credit card or some money laying around, your kids eat what you bring into the house and every behavior they've learned from watching you and watching other adults in their world and so, we need to set a better example. This is on us. And we got to meet your beautiful kids. I mean, what just just fun, delightful children. So it's not just the, the case of like you're preaching, but you're living it. Yeah. So, so what are some of the things that you do in your personal life to help make sure that the kids enjoy their lunch? It's not all about like, we're not, you know, she's not packing cardboard to right. go to school. What are right. some things that you do to have some quick, you know, grab and go options, but also know that they're eating, you know, nutrient dense food? Yeah, so common question. We kind of have a rule in our house. My kids know what protein and fat and carbs are and we don't demonize any food. We're like, how does this make us feel? How does this make us function? And my kids have experienced it. You want some candy and then they feel the crash. Yeah. And so, you know, let them be their own expert too, but start with education and then give them choices, get them involved. Make them come to the grocery store with you. Let's see, should we have steak or do you want to have salmon tonight? You know, which vegetable should we buy? Which fruit should we buy? Kids can tolerate a lot more carbs, but that yeah. doesn't mean that sugar and vegetable oils and processed crap needs to be in their diet. Right. Right, but maybe they want some squash or some sweet potato, and that's totally fine. But get them involved with the decision making, let them help with cooking, let them make decisions. What would you like to have for lunch today? Because when they make those choices, you're empowering them because one day they're gonna leave your house. Yeah. Yeah. No, and when you're talking about the carbs for the kids, it was never like the broccoli that we were battling with, like, oh, how many how much broccoli is gonna put us over on carbs. It was always like the bad yeah. chips that was, was the frustration. So that is so exciting. So when people leave, um, you know, what we've been hearing is people are like, wow, that's a lot. There's a lot of good information. And so trying to get people to just say like, take away one thing and maybe, you know, just, just think, okay, I'm really going to make a change in this area because everybody doesn't have to change everything over overnight, yeah. but really chew on stuff. But what was something that you took away personally from the speakers that you were like, okay, I'm going to, I'm writing that down myself. Yeah. So unfortunately you come into these conferences and you get totally jazzed up and you get this big dopamine response. And then tomorrow everyone's going to feel the crash. <laughs> Us two as speakers, you're just like, go, go, go. And then you feel the crash and, uh, your friends in the outside world weren't here with you. They don't know what you experienced, okay? But the one takeaway, I think the most powerful speech, I brought in Tom Shea, a retired Navy SEAL. He knows nothing about keto. He's going to. Oh my goodness. But I brought in Tom Shea because the mindset, the frame, the yes. emotional aspect of nutrition is so underestimated because you can eat the most healthy diet, but if you don't fix what's up here, yeah. you're gonna fail eventually. And so if, there, if there's you know, one takeaway, you walk out those doors and you say, I am healthy, I am strong, I am fit. You will literally become that. Language turns into action, so figure out who you are. That, that really was powerful. I mean, people were coming, I mean, there was an emotional response to it because it really was. You have to check yourself about like, how have I been talking to myself? And we have a lot of conversations, you know, yeah. you have with it, you, with yourself. So yeah, it, that was a very, very powerful speech. Now, um, moving forward, like it, if, if somebody wasn't able to be here, will there be availability uh, of the, of the conference um, talks? Yeah, we recorded all the talks. Um, I don't know all the logistics and details, but there will be a recording that will be sold after the event for anybody that couldn't be here. We understand it's a pandemic and people have jobs and things like that. So if you missed out, um, you're in luck. Yeah, Watch you didn't the... miss out for forever. Yeah, you, so... you missed out on like the physical aspect of this, but that doesn't mean that you still can't hear from all these great speakers. Wow, that's exciting. So now where can they find you after this? Yeah, so you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Dr. Fit and Fabulous. I've got a new podcast that just came Yay! out, The Fit and Fabulous Podcast with Dr. Jamie Seaman. And I've got a YouTube channel. I'm most most interactive on Instagram. I've got a website too, drfitandfabulous.com. So I, exciting. I appreciate my followers. They're why I do what I do. Thank you so much. Thank yes. you for putting this on. We enjoyed it so much and can't wait for next year. Yeah, we'll be here. 
how nice was it to get to talk to Dr. Jamie Seaman, Dr. Fit and Fabulous, and just get her take on the convention because it was amazing and we really enjoyed it. I'm excited that you can still have access to the conference after it's long over, I'm really exciting to be able to go back and some take some more notes because it's hard to process it all in, you know, while you're here. So I'm very excited about that. So that's gonna be our video for today. If you like videos like this, check out some other videos we have over here, or you might want to check out our latest video, which is over here. But whether you go this way or you go this way, don't forget to go this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye.